Welcome everyone, my name is Zach and in this video we're going to be talking about charging an electric vehicle on a standard wall outlet and whether or not it's actually realistic to use one of these as your main charging source. I have a Tesla Model 3 long range dual motor which when I purchased the car had an EPA rated range of 310 miles out of a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack and when I got the car I was kind of expecting to use a variety of different charging solutions. I live in an apartment and I do have a one car garage that has a standard outlet in it but my workplace also supplies level two chargers. And then there are also a lot of Tesla superchargers in my area. So I was kind of expecting to combine all of these as my charging solution. But believe it or not, I've actually found myself using the standard outlet in my garage almost exclusively. Now, for those of you that don't know, there are kind of three different tiers of charging for electric vehicles. There's level one charging, which is a standard outlet, 110, 120 volts. Then level two is a 220 to 240 volt outlet, which is what like your dryer or some appliances run off of. And then level three charging is kind of a catch all for all really high power charging that people wouldn't typically put in their house because it'd be very expensive and frankly not necessary. Level three is kind of used exclusively for fast charging for road trips and things like that. So for this video, I'm really only gonna focus on level one and level two charging since those are the only two options that people would have installed or already have in their homes. So when I was buying my Model 3, I wasn't really expecting it to be feasible to use the standard outlet in my garage. Everyone seemed to be talking about how you had to have a level two and that charging off of a standard outlet just wasn't reasonable. So for level two charging, you're generally gonna get about six to seven kilowatt hours of energy, which really just means that in one hour of charging, you're gonna get six to seven kilowatts of power put into your battery. So for my car, I have a 75 kilowatt hour battery, which means that in one hour of charging, I will gain about eight to 9% charge. And if you do the math out, that would mean that after about 12 hours of charging, you could charge from empty to full. This seems like a very useful charge rate, since that means that most people could charge from empty to full overnight. Now, if we look at level one charging, the story isn't quite so compelling. Using the standard wall outlet, you're gonna be getting about one to 1 1.5 kilowatt hours of energy. Yeah, that's it. For me, this breaks down to about 1.5% battery per hour of charging. Which if you do the math out on this, means that it would take 67 hours to go from empty to full, which is 2.8 days. So you can probably see why when I picked up my car, I wasn't expecting to be using the standard outlet all that much. But here's where it gets interesting. When you look at the numbers in terms of battery percentage, it seems pretty bad. But when you break it down by the actual miles of range that you're adding, it's not that bad. It's about five miles of range per hour of charging. Now this still doesn't seem great, but let's do some math to see how this works out. So personally, I find that I can average about 12 hours of charging per day, which at 1.5% per hour, that gets me about 18% battery every single day. Now this may not sound like a lot, but at five miles per hour of range added, that comes out to 60 miles of range every single day. And over a week, that's over 400 miles of range. And over a month, it's over 1,800 miles of range. And if you were able to average 12 hours of charging every day for an entire year, that's almost 22,000 miles of range out of a standard wall outlet. Now keep in mind that according to the Department of Transportation, the average American driver drives only 13,500 miles per year. Now in addition to how incredibly slow it is to charge off of a standard wall outlet, I do wanna note a couple other downsides. Now charging on a level one standard wall outlet is going to be less efficient than charging on say a level two charger. There's a certain amount of base electricity required to charge your car. This is mainly the battery management system and converters and things like that. This is gonna be a lot more noticeable on a level one charger compared to like a 240 volt level two charger, just because that one can push so much more power. The second thing is that electric car batteries really don't like to charge when they're cold. And if you live in a cold climate, this could be a factor you wanna consider. Now lithium ion batteries used in electric cars really like to be at room temperature. So keep in mind that if you're charging your car and it's below freezing out, some of that energy is gonna be going to warming up the battery. And this is gonna slow down your charging rate even more. I'll also note that if you try to preheat your cabin while plugged in, say in the morning before you go to work, if you're only plugged into a standard outlet, that's actually not even enough to run the heaters in the car 
and charge at the same time. So you'll continue drawing power from the grid, but you'll also be drawing power from the battery. So if it's really cold outside, it's not unusual for me to lose a percent battery preheating my car in the morning. One tip if you do live in a cold climate is to start charging immediately when you get home and your battery is still warm. This will allow the car to take the maximum charge possible without having to waste energy heating the battery up. So let's get back to the question we're trying to answer with this video. Can you realistically charge an electric vehicle off of a standard wall outlet? Now I think the answer depends on a couple things. First off, how long is your commute? And how much do you drive on a weekly basis? If your commute is less than 60 miles a day and you drive less than 400 miles a week, I think you can survive off of just a standard outlet. The other thing to consider is whether or not you have other charging options. Does your workplace have level two chargers installed? Are there any fast level three chargers such as superchargers that you could use in a pinch? Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, I live in an apartment. And when I bought my Tesla Model 3, I was expecting to be using a variety of charging sources. I had the standard outlet in my garage, I had level two charging at work, and then there are also a variety of Tesla superchargers in my area. And after just weeks of ownership of my car, I realized that I didn't really need to use the chargers at work or the Tesla superchargers. I was getting plenty just from the standard wall outlet. And in the almost nine months that I've had my car, I've only charged at work four times. That's it. I've used superchargers on long road trips, but that's really the only reason I've had to use those. So ultimately it depends on two things how much you drive, and whether or not you have other options nearby in case you're in a pinch. But that's all for today. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video and want to learn more about living with electric vehicles.